Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dylan from DSO Media, and today I am going to be doing my first ever Let's Play. And this is going to be on the RPG for the GameCube, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So now I am going to start with watching this opening sequence. Ahem. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town site no longer held relics of the past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rugeport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rugeport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Okay, and here we are. This is Rugeport. Finally, I have a minute without Todsworth watching over me. I come all the way on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that the town has a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Will you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Aha! Yes, Princess Peach. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary map sleeps, but the box has a magic lock on it. As you can see, it won't so much budge, I know if the box will open for you, Missy, then you may know whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to me. So, Missy, take this box and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. My best voice acting skills, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I probably need some work. And so... This begins our Let's Play of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Yep, yeah, I am starting a new game. So now we are about to begin. I am gonna go with file one. Yeah, how about that? And I will be putting in my own name. And let's see if I can do a bit more voice acting as the game progresses, and see just how well I do on that. Oh, hey! And I think this might be similar to the opening sequence to the original Paper Mario, though I could be wrong about that. I haven't really played the original Paper Mario. 
Oh, and there's Luigi. Paper Luigi, that is. And he's got some mail. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. <clears throat> now, let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rootport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rootport. That means you must come! Princess Peach! Yeah, it's really telling him. What do you know? It's true! There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out! Yep, and that is the game's map. Oh, hey, and is that... Yeah, it's the... Paper Mario Thousand Year Door title sequence. And I'm kind of getting a Wind Waker vibe just from looking at this. So, okay. Looks like the real game begins. Any time now. Oh, okay, I just have to press the A button. Okay. Ah, so this is the prologue. A Rogue's Welcome. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rootport. Ah, so it is. It's a nice looking town. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. All right, and now we are approaching with a few villagers. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark there? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rugport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting for here for you? Is that so? Er, uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. That's quite a warning you gave. All right, here we are. Here in Rootport. Now to look around. Oi, welcome to Rootport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save, because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to get kicked the old bucket. Thank you, Babom, for telling me about that. Alright, so here is the save block, and now I will attempt to save my game. Yes, I am going to save my game process. Okay. What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Are you money? Or is she your girlfriend? Puh! <laughs> God, that ma that that makes my that makes that makes my throat strain. 
Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew! I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Ba 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 ha ha ha! Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Chump, we're on it. No, no! Stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream! Really? Oh boy. <laughs> Out of the way, you scallywag! Move your ever-loving bones! Blimey! A fight? Corkin! Haha! <laughs> nothing so fun as watching some old bloke have it out with the missus, eh? Am I right, mate? Like I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you? Hmm, not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, Chomp? You think you can screw up my plants? God, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb And so begins our first battle. And you can't flee this fight. Not that I even needed to. Battle time, Mr. Man! Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Okie dokie. Now... Oh, that's... That's the jump, but okay. Oh, well. Yes, you're doing awesome. Don't you let up. Ha <laughs> ha, I completely dodged that. Okay, now I'm gonna try the hammer. Bam, nice one. You got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Ha <laughs> ha, another dodge right there. Okay. Now for another jump. Ha ha! Two times and he's out. You did it! You did it! Yes! You got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get a hundred points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Okay, well, there we go. Nine star points. That was fun. <laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots in, I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Uh-oh! Oh, here we go! Things got real! Punish him! Oh, shit. Quick! This way! Wow, looks like that plan backfired. Phew, what a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? I say we go for it. <laughs> wow, what a bunch of idiots. Yeah, you keep stockpiling on nobody. Uh-huh, stop! Where did they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Uh, crud, they bolted. Wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. I have just gotta give you a little reward. Oh, small kiss, how nice. My name's Gubella. I'm a student at University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but you looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rootport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't legendary treasure here. 
What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 Paco! What you got there? Treasure map. Oh my gosh! Isn't that a treasure map? You have got to tell me where you got it! Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter in a treasure map, and she told you she'd meet you here in Rootport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot for fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP, heart points, running low. Just drop on in! Ho ho! Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Um, Princess Peach? You mean like Peach? The Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always get nabbed by Bowser? The Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone? What do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario! And Goombella joins my party! Alright! Goomba's ability, Goombella's abilities, abilities, a primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and other things. This is Rootport Plaza! It's the center of town in the main business district! It's a crossroad where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goomther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Yes, I pretty much did. Goombella can give you hints. Yeah, I just got the gist of it. And she can be helpful in battle, too. Good to know. She does a nasty head bonk, and can look up HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Well, this is good information to know. First off, we gotta find the professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I, um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Yeah, thank you for that pleasant image. Okay, so now to look around, see what we can find. Trees! You two, not another step. Don't you come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear? Okay. So, let's see where to go from here. Squawk! Uh-oh! Ah! Did he 
idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault! Now I have to buy a new contact lens! You're gonna pay for it! Compensate me, Mr. Chumbly! Or clumsy, I think she said. Fine! That's your plan, and here's mine too! I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens! Wow! What a biatch! Ho ho ho! Well, guess I have no choice but to look around then. See if I can find her new contact lens. If I could even really find anything. Sniff, sniff. You smell that? That smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. All right. Welcome! Yes, welcome to the Toad Brothers Bazaar! Hey, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait a minute! Hmm, so you're talking. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any stock right now. Good luck, tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away, but it'll take a while. Come back soon, okay? Yeah, well, thank you for all the help, Toad. Alright, so I guess I'll save. And I'll still continue. Alright, and I guess, um, I'll continue talking to villagers. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? You press Z, you can check your current HP. I can't believe you didn't know that. If you have low HP, you ought to go rest in an inn so you recover. Use your head. Yeah, thank you for the advice, Goomba. Oh, mailbox XP. Kind of like the Game Boy Advance SP. I mean, it's nice that they have items like that. That's based off Nintendo's handheld systems. Okay, and, um... Yeah, so here we have... Uh, the party. Okay! Uh, now where else to look? I mean, I just want to find where to go next. Uh, maybe I can check inside this inn. Oi! I used to sail around and run wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. Okay, um... Uh, can't you take a hit, pal? Dot 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 means scram. Don't talk to me. Wow, rude. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Potley's Place, a humble little cola shop where folks tell mixed stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go up and relax. Well, thank you, bartender. Okay. Oh, is that who I was looking for? Welcome to the low refuge in the sport of filthiness. Our bounce will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Would you care for a bed? Hmm. Well, but you look like you're fully rested. Do you want a bed anyway? Come again. Oh, where in the world could you could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. Oh, that wasn't much help. Uh, anything in here? Open at 11. Okay. Well, uh, where do I go from here? Hmm. Whoa! What was that? Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Uh-oh. Looks like I gotta find him. 
That is so lame! Ugh! I hate this town! Alright, let's see if I can find him. Uh, okay. Yeah, and she's still gonna keep blocking my way. Because of her contact lens. If only I could find that too. Hmm. Dang! Yesterday, I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. You believe that? But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. Yeah, okay, sure. Whatever you say. Uh, let's see if this Goomba knows. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rudeport. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. Yeah, okay, sure. We'll just go around and tell everybody in in town about about all this. Okay. So where did that thief go? Uh, did he go out through here? Hmm. Yeah, it certainly doesn't look like it. Hmm, not back here. Yeah, this is where I started from. Hmm, well... Yeah, I'm a little bit lost here. And he doesn't seem to be around here. Is he in the inn? Um, hmm. Does not look like it. Uh, let's see. Nope. Not here. Is he in here? Um, no. Okay, it's still closed. No! Look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story, I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Ah! My rage is so hot right now, I can cook you with it! Yeah, uh... I'm starting to hate that character already. Hmm... Sniff, sniff. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I already talked to him. Professor, frankly, actually, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here. As you enter town from the harbor, just hang your right. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important from you, or what? Well, no, not Professor Frankly, but some other thief around here. Okay, and... Whoa, whoa! Hold up now! You're an outsider! Past this point is the turf of Ishnil, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. You tried to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you for good. Well, I think I could have declined, but okay. You can pass. Oh, is that the thief? This is East Rootport. This is the turf of Ishnil and his crew of Robos. This east side's all run down. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. Well, I'm trying to find a thief that looks like you. That's what I'm trying to do. Trouble Center. Okay. Through here. Uh, Professor Frankly through one of these doors. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly! What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes! You! Now you, uh... I've seen your face before! Yes, that face! 
Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goomreel. Uh, it's not Elizagoom. Hmm. Ah, uh -huh. I got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at Yugoom. Go Goombas! Oh, of course, I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario! Professor, he's Mario! You know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a buckworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rookport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I knew about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you types want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, you know? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in these fairy tales, though. Me? I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to divide by the truth from them, on them. But I'll agree on one point, to find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah! A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You? You actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful, even! With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door! Right on, Professor! Good golly! What are we doing just stand sitting here, then? Goobella! Mario! Off we must go! This instant, let's take the magical map to the legendary door! All right! I bet you didn't know this rotten th old thing came off, did you? Heh <laughs> Thank you for showing me. We can use this pie to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. All right, I'll do that. But I think for now, I will end this Let's Play. Find the safe spot. All right, well, now that I'm saving, this concludes this episode. Well, I hope you all enjoyed and I had fun playing it. 
So be on a lookout for part two as I play more of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Take care and have a good one, everyone. <laughs>